Welcome. And the question today from Alternative at 9598 is What was a huge trend everyone forgot about? Hi, this is Derek. I just put the drama llama, Fred, back in his llama pen, so that I can do this quick video for you with some of the stuff that Fred found on Reddit earlier today. If this is your first time watching our videos, help me out by watching to the end, and then giving me some feedback in the comment area below. And if you want more of these videos daily, don't forget to like and subscribe, with notifications turned on for this channel. Oh boy, let's get ready for some drama. Kickstand answered with The clear craze in the late 1980s into the 90s. We saw lots of clear drinks and products, including Crystal Pepsi, Tab Clear, and of course Zima. Luxbibi answered with Crackle Nail Polish. Why did we do that? That's an actual forgotten one. Wow. Gibbs answered with Yik Yak. Yik Yak was the crap. Everyone knew what was going on on campus within seconds. People within the same classes used it to crap talk professors, and cheat on tests. It's too bad people had to ruin it with death threats, and such which kind of forced Yik Yak to make it non-anonymous, killing the appeal it had in the first place. As a commuting student at the time, it was key for me to keep up with the happenings and drama around campus. Holy crap, this is the correct answer. Everyone at my school was obsessed with Yik Yak during my freshman year of college. It felt like it died overnight though. Anonymous horny girl answered with Mannequin challenge That was very weird to be fair A bunch of the internet challenges could be put here too Thought I was Dale answered with Cell phones that worked like walkie talkies Electrifying jabroni answered with That one weird summer of 2016 where clowns randomly appeared out of nowhere, and creeped us all out. You asked I answered answered with Silly bands They died because every school banned them. Well, call those silly bands. LC Brown answered with Hypercolor clothing I was a huge nerd in elementary school, and thought, I was gonna be super cool, when my mom bought me an off-brand hypercolor shirt. Wore it to school, and one of the kids who bullied me realized, it would change color if he spit on it. Then showed lots of other people. It was the worst day of my elementary school life. Unethical Goose answered with. I don't know if this is just where I live. But those bracelets that you made with rubber bands on that loom thingy. We still have millions of those rubber bands in our house. I want to toss them in the garbage, but they are in the kids' rooms. Beard Lover answered with Saying, Wazai. Just having fun X answered with Neopets. LOL. Yegek answered with Furbies, absolutely needed to have one. And when it woke up in the middle of the night, I was over it. Emotional Fruit answered with Cup stacking, what was that all about? Goes by answered with Flash mobs I miss the awkwardness of school teachers and office managers to entice others to join. My boss made us do this one year, as a kind of bucket list for herself before she retired. I had scheduled the day off, since it was my birthday, so I was hoping I had a gracious out to skip it. Instead, she told me if I came for the flash mob, I'd get the rest of the day off with pay, and I wouldn't have to use a vacation day. It was exactly as awkward as I expected, but the 20 minutes was worth it for 8 hours pay. Oliver with a twist answered with Chat Roulette And Omegle Cheeto Dude 625 answered with Planking in YOLO Ugly Crossing answered with Harlem Shake GLD Member answered with 
Live Strong Bracelets. Garakwaru by Line answered with Butterfly Clips. Pirates Love Boxes answered with Those shoes with the wheels in them. Heelys. Heelys don't have brakes. Because the swag never stops. I still don't read it answered with Yo yo's. Who was that mother effer that came to my school? And why did he do a sales pitch for yo yo's? And why did so many of us buy them? Edit. Jesus wept. How many of us got yo yo's, and what did we do with them? 420 Keebler answered with I'm kinda dating myself here, but when I was younger, I can't remember if I was a preteen or if I was a teenager, the Bud Weezer frogs. Everyone was going around saying Bud. Someone else would say wise, and someone else would say, er. I even had a couple different shirts with them on it lol. Hysterical realist answered with. Gangnam style. Good God don't make me remember that, El now. For about a year, I actually tried to learn Korean because of that song. Gizmo Joy answered with. Back in the 90s there was a hip-hop duo called Criss Cross. That got an entire generation of middle schoolers to wear their baggy jeans backwards for like a year. Good times. Littlest Slipper 55 answered with. El Mao. El Mao may be a total train wreck of a music group, but they were also everywhere in 2011 to 2013. You couldn't turn on the radio without hearing, I'm sexy and I know it. Played five times in the span of 30 minutes, and Party Rockers in the House Tonight Was a line scream sung at any nightclub Edit Wow, my inbox Glad to see so many Elmau defenders I will admit, despite my original comment of a train wreck music group, I am an Elmau defender and even a small fan as well I went to university in 2011 to 2013, so each year at uni was spent banging to these awesome club tracks Ah, the good old days of shuffling in two high heels holding your tequila sunrise in one hand. And running man pumping with the other. DJ still play party rock anthem and shots religiously. BR34KF4S7 answered with. I'll never forget the summer Pokemon Go came out. Everybody and their grandparents were playing it, all the parks were full of people just talking and meeting each other. I hate to sound boomery, but it made me remember what life was like before smartphones. Which is ironic I guess because an app made it happen. I wish more technology had the goal of getting people active, and outside and interacting with others. Wade Garrett answered with. Slap bracelets. Very popular in the early 90s. Haddock 420 answered with. Rage Comics. In 2011, 90% of my Reddit feed was Rage Comics. Now you never see them. Alternative at 9598 answered with Alvin and the Chipmunk Remixes. Arachnid Tree answered with Pet Rocks. I have been breeding them for years. Nexa Rent answered with Fidget Spinners. Remember all those pop-up stalls in shopping centers selling fidget spinners? I sure hope they got their money back. Bacon Sesame answered with Tamagotchi and Furby. The Wicker Stan answered with I think it was between 2010 and 2012 where there was A weird obsession with bacon A weird obsession with mustaches Keep calm and and you can't forget Epic Fail too. I know it makes lots of people cringe, and rightfully so. But boy does thinking of that period make me nostalgic for middle school. Simpler times. Environmental Day 25 answered with. The Power Balance Bracelets. OMG. People were convinced that it would help their balance and migraines. Zmod answered with. Beyblades. CRX at Moon answered with. Rainbow Foods. Like the Rainbow Grilled Cheese, etc. 
Charlie Fried I answered with Marbles Don't worry about it 96 answered with Choking your friends out, it was really weird Mars Barley answered with Planking OMG I still remember when I asked my dad to take a photo of me planking on the edge of some sort of fountain in the middle of a city's tourist district with loads of people around us. Yoda's Chico Stick answered with Minecraft parodies. Eventually people just stopped taking them seriously. E Sorghum answered with Parachute Pants. Javon96 answered with The Cinnamon Challenge of 2010 to 2011. MPA Fighter answered with What does the fox say? To 1 meter 0 and 1 answered with Game of Thrones Never seen something go straight from the forefront of pop culture to be forgotten about so quickly Man Without Fear answered with Dubstep 2011 to 2014 was a wild time Zombear answered with Speed stacking cups There were actual leagues of kids and adults doing this Indefinite Stew answered with Those weird and slightly illegal Spending 24 hours in a Challenges I sometimes wonder how nobody got arrested Hoagie Bun 12 answered with I'm surprised I haven't seen it yet. The dress, the black slash blue or white slash gold dress. People claimed mental breakdowns over it. Personality tests showed up out of nowhere for it. Turned out to be overexposure and terrible filters I think. Oh, and the whole Yanni slash Laurel thing too. And finally, Supremo Tsane answered with Ice Bucket Challenge. Well, there you have it. A perfectly great question answered by a bunch of fine and honorable citizens. Help support this channel by smashing the like and subscribe buttons. And hit that silly little bell as well to ensure you get the latest videos as they come out. Fred is always finding stuff for me to post regularly. So this is Derek signing off. Thanks for watching. Good grief, it sounds like Fred is out of his pen again. I think he found more drama for me to share with you. See you soon.